Hello everyone, my name is Dylan and I am your English speaking teacher. Today, we are going to go through the house. Now, the house, we are going to describe different things inside certain rooms. I have a video on the screen that I should show you in just a moment, but guys, thank you very much for watching all the videos that I have been posting to you guys. Your love and support on everything has been amazing and thank you very much. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, this is a typical house that you would see when you go to Australia or live in Australia. So, let's go. This is by Silkwood Homes. So, right away, what do we see? This is called the front garden, yes? The front garden. Can you say it with me? The front garden. Okay, so now, the front garden has got plants. The front garden has also got a path. The front garden has also got a driveway. You see this here, where I'm pointing with the mouse. This here is where you drive in to the garage. This is called driveway, driveway. So the, so the entrance into the garage is called driveway. So you go up the driveway into the garage, okay? Driveway, okay? Very good. So as you see here, there is a path. Yes, the path leads to the front door which is here, yeah? Now, what we also do see is other houses and these people we call neighbors, okay? You have neighbors at home as well, whether it's below you or above you or to the side, yeah? So, this is who we call neighbors, okay? These are our neighbors. Now, you see this here, we call this grass, yes? And also, on the other side of the grass, there is a footpath where everyone can walk, yeah? And to protect the house, they have installed a fence, okay? You see this? It goes all the way around. It is called a fence. 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 Okay? Very good. Let's move on. Now, as we get into the house, as you see there, there's a sign on the, on, the, on the wall, but we won't look at that. Now, as you get into the house, there's a little seating area. Now, this isn't the main living room, okay? This could be a second living room. This could be just a relaxing room. So, as you walk in the front door, you see a sofa, which is the orange chair. This is called a sofa, or a lounge chair, okay? Lounge chair, sofa, okay? And we also have a table. And this table, we could say it is a coffee table, okay? Where you put your tea and coffee on, yeah? We also see a rug, which is on the floor. Do you see a rug? Yes? This is called rug. It is a rug. Okay, I see a rug, okay? And also here, this is called TV cabinet, okay? TV cabinet. So, generally the TV will sit on top of it, but here they've put the TV against the wall. So now the TV cabinet has turned more or less into a cupboard, okay? So, we see a TV cabinet here, and the TV is mounted, mounted onto the wall. Mounted just means pushed up against and held in place. Mounted, okay? Mounted, okay? Can you say the word with me? Mounted, perfect. And then you see the door, okay? And over here is like a little display area where they'll have candles, I even see a little bit of coffee there. So there's a little bit of a display area or we can call it an entertain entertainment display. You could put um, alcohol, you could put drinks, you could put sodas, whatever you like there. Yep, yeah? let's move on. 
Now, here is very important. This, this is called a hallway. The hallway leads into set different rooms into the house. So this could be the bathroom. This room here, it could be bedroom one, bedroom two, living room, and then it leads into the kitchen. This is called hallway, okay? You have, you, you have one in your house, well, you may have one in your house, but you walk to the hallway or you walk up and down the hallway to get to the bedroom, okay? Let's move on. Now, as we make our way into the living room, this is officially the living room, it is attached to the kitchen. So the word attached, okay? Very similar to mounted, okay? Very, very similar but it is something that is connected to another thing, okay? For example, if my finger, I tied it up against the other finger, it is attached, okay? Now, my shirt, yes, is attached to the collar. Collar, shirt, attached to the collar, yeah? So, the living room and the kitchen table is attached to the kitchen, okay? So this is the kitchen. In the kitchen, we have what we call basin. This is where you wash the dishes, wash your hands. We call this basin, 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 okay? So you have a basin. Also, there is a chopping board there, just in case that you would like to cut your food. You have to make sure you don't damage the, the countertops. Here, we call this countertop counter top this is where you cut all your food counter top counter top okay remember that and then you see cupboards okay the cupboards inside of the kitchen are also very important okay cupboards cupboards okay and then here you see kitchen table kitchen table this is where you eat dinner, you eat lunch, you eat breakfast. And then you see the main sofa, which is the living room sofa, yeah, or the living room lounge, okay? Now, you also see a television. I also see there is a fan on the roof, okay? There is a fan on the roof, okay? This is called ceiling fan because it's attached to the ceiling. So we call it ceiling fan, ceiling fan, yes? Now, you also see two different sets of lights here, okay? One is hanging lights, they're above the kitchen. We call them hanging lights, hanging lights. And then these ones are called down lights down lights. These ones are very, very common in modern homes. Down lights, okay? I also see the backyard, yes? The back garden, the backyard, both have the same meaning, okay? Back garden, you have the front garden, which we went through, and now I see the back garden. Maybe we can go see, let's have a look. So, this is the living room. In the living room, you see the fan rotating. You see the lights. You also see two things here. What are these called? We call these vase or vase, okay? Depends on where you come from, what, what English-speaking country you come from, okay? Here, we also see a laptop, which is a portable computer. We call it lap. Top, lap, top, lap, top, specifically because you, you use it on your lap. You're not supposed to, but they do, okay? And then here is just like a little display jar where they may have cookies, rice, or something like that, okay? And then here, next to, next to the TV cabinet, which is here, remember what I told you about the TV cabinet? We have a pot plant pot plant not just the plant 
because the plant is inside of the pot, we call it pot plant. Say it with me, pot plant, pot plant. Fantastic. So as I alluded to earlier, we see here, what do we see? We see the TV cabinet, TV cabinet, TV cabinet. We don't really emphasize on the cabinet, no. The I we don't really pronounce, it's more cabinet, okay? We don't really emphasize the I, you can if you like, but we don't emphasize the I at all. Now the coffee table, coffee table, coffee table, okay? And then you see the lounge, the sofa, sofa, okay? I see a blue blanket on the sofa, a blue, what do we call it? Pillow, excellent. I see a blue pillow and a white pillow, excellent. So, at, whoop, before we go, I also see a white and gray rug. Mm, very good. Let's move on. I forgot to tell you, I also see a bowl on the coffee table and I see magazines. Now, what do we call this? We call this veranda, veranda, okay? Veranda, okay? Veranda. This is where you sit outside under the protection of the house but you're outside and you can sit and eat and enjoy the beautiful sounds or the nice weather or if you have a swimming pool, okay? So this is the kitchen, yes? Now in the kitchen, we already have seen here, but we didn't see here. Here is what we call Bar stools. This is where you sit to eat at the kitchen. Yeah, these are called bar stools. Bar stools. Okay, and then over here is where you cook. Okay, I don't see a microwave. This is where the fridge goes, but there's no fridge. But here is where the oven is. So we call it oven, oven, oven. Okay, and on top, stove top, stove top, or oven top, but stove top is acceptable, okay? Stove top, stove top. Now it looks electric, so we could say electric stove top, okay? Let's move on. Now, this could either be one of the first rooms or the main room. I'm not too sure. But in this room, I see the bed. I see pillows and blankets. I also see the blinds. The blinds, they go up and down and they protect you from the sun, yeah? Also a fan. Also, I see bedside tables. These tables sit next to your bed, next to the bed. You can put your water, your phone, your keys, your wallet on top of these, yes, when you go to sleep. And I also see lamps. You see the two lamps? One, two. These lamps are very common to have in bedrooms, okay? They help us see at nighttime. Now, this is called a bathroom. In the bathroom, we have a toilet, there is toilet paper, yes, toilet paper. We also have another basin, this is where we wash our hands, basin, okay. Here is soap, now this is called liquid soap, not the normal soap, the hard soap, no, not soap bar, liquid soap liquid soap, okay? You see towels, and you see, you see the electric power points, okay? Now, move on. 
See if we can see the shower and the bath. Okay, this is called the shower. Yes? And in the shower, this is called shower head. Shower head. We use this to wash ourselves. The water goes in and the water goes out onto us. Okay? Okay, so this must be another kid's room or a guest room. You see all the beautiful bright colors, pink, purple, orange. I see a smiley face and an evil face. Also a smiley face cut with glasses. So this could be a guest room for when your friends or family come over. Now this could be a kid's room. You see the beautiful blue rug. You see the work, the workstation here, yes? This is generally where the kids will do study work, okay? And I see textures here to symbolize that this is a kid's room. Also an aeroplane to also symbolize it is a kid's room. And I see minions. I also have that pillow right here of the minions because I got it from Australia, okay? I have that minions from Australia. Also, I see the different shades of blue for the throw over, for the doona, okay? Now, the window is big. Do you see how big the window is? That is a very big window, which means a lot of light will come into the room. Now, this must be the spare bathroom, okay? This is called a bath, not a shower, a bath. Bath, not bath with an F, no, bath, T-H, bath, okay? We also have another basin with towels and cupboards. So this is what you can see when you go to Australia or live in Australia. These are the typical houses. It's normal. It's normal for this to be in Australia, okay? I hope you did enjoy today's video. I hope I described a lot of things that are inside typical rooms in a house for you to learn at home. And you also can use the labels so mum and dad can learn as well. I have been your English speaking teacher, Dylan. Remember everyone, please stay safe and I'll speak to you when I see you next. Bye bye.